outro cast. Thank you for taking the time today. I mean, how's your day going aside from answering the same questions over and over and over again? Well, you're the first, so it's going to be really fresh. <laughs> Everyone's going to copy me. Great. Well, of thank course. you for taking the time. You play Claire in this new film. How much of Claire is there in you, the human being? Ah, oh, that's a great first question. You know, I think with every character that I portray, there's obviously a piece of yourself in it that is the genesis of the character. And I would say for Claire, Claire is an in-home veterinarian and she's a bleeding heart. I mean, she takes care of wounded, an wounded animals mm -hmm. and she sees this wounded soul in Russell Hatch, which is Van Damme's character. Right. And she gets inspired to really nurse him back to health as she does with her animals. And in doing so, they fall in love. And she gets to meet Jaden, this teenage boy that he's been entrusted to take care of since the passing of the boy's mother. And they become this sort of pseudo family. You know, he himself is wounded, the, the boy Jaden, after losing his mother and going through a, tra a tragedy. So it's this tender aspect of this neo-noir um, action thriller. So to go back to your initial question, you know, I think there's a really tender, vulnerable part in me that really likes to root for the underdog and help the less fortunate and um, really try to work with people to be the best that they can be. I certainly do that or try to do that with my son every day, so. Well, uh, can you take a compliment or are you already maxed out for the day? <laughs> I, I, yours will be the first of the day since you're the first interview, so thank you. <laughs> well, it's an all-star cast, let's face it, between JCVD, yourself, Spencer, Shannon, Sticky Fingers himself. Hey, I grew up loving Onyx and all that. Any idea how you came onto this project? Was it a just, hey, we want her and we'll take her? Or did you know uh, somebody and they put you up for it? Well, thank you. Um, James Cullen Bressack, writer, director, producer, um, who's become a dear friend um, and a great young talent. Um, he knew another producer that I had worked with on a film called um, The Madam of Purity Falls. And um, yeah, they got to talking and James was telling him about this project and um, his friend was talking about me and James was like, yeah, she'd be great. So James called me up and they went from there. How did it go with initials? Because there's JCVD and there's JCB. Did that cause any confusion on set? You know, that's funny. Uh, I think you might be the first one to put that together. <laughs> because if you say Jay, people would go him, me, that that kind of a thing. Right. I think I think um, Van Damme called James Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> now I know that. So your career is fantastic and has been for 20 something years. And you've done a fair amount of comedy. You know, you do have key and peel and sketch comedy kind of stuff on your resume, et cetera. Long term, do you hope to do more comedy? Um, well, it's funny that you asked that question because I was watching something with um, Owen Wilson in it, just a preview of something. And, you know, he's a master of the comedy craft. And I was like, yeah, I'd like to do some more comedy. So I foresee that in my future. We're actually having a little reunion uh, with the Boy Meets Girl crew and the Boy Meets World crew that they reprised it with the daughter later on yes. that I worked with in the beginning and then reprised my role later. So who knows, maybe we'll spawn uh, a new show there or something. Well, I've had the pleasure of interviewing Michael Jacobs and clickbaiting the heck out of that interview, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk <laughs> about you. And this is a new film to us uh, for you, hey, it was announced close to two years ago. Are we allowed to know where we're going to see you next or what you're doing next? Or is it all darkness of man forever and ever? No, uh, it's darkness forever now coming out on uh, the 21st of May. But there are three other films that I have coming out later this year. One of which that I also produced, my company Trio Entertainment. It's a great ensemble cast. I'm also in it. It's called Vice and Virtue. We're doing film festivals now. That'll be out for release later this year. 
Um, and then I have a film called Dark Night of the Soul, um, which I star with Martin Cove. And that oh. is a survival film, um, kind of my 127 hours, if you will. And, uh, and then I have a film called No Address, which underscores the homeless crisis that we're facing in America. So, and I play the wife of Billy Baldwin, again, great ensemble cast. That as well will be out later this year. So follow my social media. You'll get more of the great updates or, you know, watch our interview and you'll get the updates, right? <laughs> I'm any, any film with Martin Cove, I'm excited about. And the last thing I ask you before I let you go, it's this multifaceted career that you have where actress, producer, et cetera. Before that, the modeling success, et cetera. You are a mother, all, all accounts spoken for, great mother and all that. But what's the passion away from the career and the family. Is there one? Uh, that's another great question. Um, I'm a real outdoors person. Um, I'm really active. Um, I love to ski, uh, snow ski, cross country ski. I'm a big, winter is my season. I love the snow. I can still see it in the mountains. So I'm tempted to go up one more time. Um, I do open ocean swimming. Um, I, uh, do a lot of hot yoga. I love to hike. I love to do like, um, I love to horseback ride. I've done long distance endurance rides all over the world. So I'm an adventurer, I guess you could say. It's the upstate New York upbringing, but either way, hey, congrats <laughs> on Darkness of Man. Looking forward to those new films and just keep up all the greatness out there. Thank you so much. It was really nice speaking with you. Outrocast.